Hello, good morning, everybody. Uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Daniek. Can you hear me well? So the goal of this presentation is to show you how to develop the USB application with the Cube MX. Uh, are you anybody familiar with this solution? Or are you developers of the applications? More or less. So what is the most boring part uh, when you develop application? When you start to, to develop the application, you have to first configure the peripherals, configure the core, clocks, and so on. It's time consuming, isn't it? So this could be a solution for you, uh, and we call it uh, Cube. So the Cube, uh, the purpose of the Cube is to ease the developer's life by uh, development efforts. It reduces the, uh, your efforts, time, and therefore even the cost, because the time is money. The Cube, part of the Cube is uh, Cube MX. Uh, Cube MX is an application on the PC. It's a graphical wizard, which allows you to initialize the microcontroller. It generates the initialization C code, which you can download then to the application. Uh, this is solution for all our microcontrollers through the performance microcontrollers, which are F4 through to the low power devices. This uh, cube is you can download it for free from the st.com slash stm32 cube. The cube is based on the how. It's a hardware abstraction layer. Uh, it's a set of the driver for peripherals. It includes the middlewares for uh, USB and Ethernet, graphics, and so on. Today, I will be talking about the USB. Do you, do you plan to develop the USB application? Yeah? Is it your goal? Do you know how, how, to, how, do you, how to use the USB? Are you familiar with USB? If you are not, Yeah, and uh, what is your expectation? How much time do you need to develop the USB application? Pardon? Three, four weeks. Three, four weeks. Now you will be able to do it in the 10 minutes. Do you believe that is possible? No. Uh, so I, I, I tried it. You tried? <laughs> so I will show you how to create the USB mouse. This uh, USB mouse uh, will be this board. We will connect this board to, to the PC and it will behave as a USB mouse. It will be moving with your cursor over the PC. Uh, the cube, as I said, uh, includes the drivers. It's a layer approach and the first layer is how. It's a hardware abstraction layers. Actually, these are drivers for peripherals. Above this are middlewares. Middle, middleware is uh, several stacks. First is uh, Ethernet solution, USB, graphics, file system, and free RTUS. So if you will want, you can develop even the USB uh, flash stick. OK. Uh, on this board, it can behave as a USB mouse, a USB flash, or something else. The last layer is a bunch of examples. So inside of the cube, there, is, there are examples. Uh, so you can uh, open them in your working environment. You can compile it and download it. And it will be working. So how it works? Uh, on your PC, after the download and installation on your PC, you will create uh, the code, initialization code. Then in working environment, you have to finish only the application. Uh, for the USB mouse, it's just one function which is called or which is used. You will see later. Then uh, this uh, complete solution with initialization C code, you have to download it uh, to your hardware. And then uh, in our case, uh, we will use the discovery board. And this discovery board will be connected uh, to the PC and it will be moving uh, with the mouse. <clears throat> uh, 
for those of you who knows the USB, but I don't, I don't think that there are USB experts. So if there is uh, someone, Tomasz over there is expert, so he can tell us how this USB mouse works. And basically, if you want to implement the USB mouse, <coughs> you need uh, a data structure which is called descriptor. So this is a structure of the descriptor. So if you want to send to the PC information about the uh, mouse, uh, you need to send the x-axis, y-axis, and the wheel, or the buttons. Uh, there are information which button is pressed. That's all what you have to send to the PC if you want to move, move your cursor. So you should remember this structure because we will use it in the uh, writing of, of the code. Uh, how it works between the PC and the device. On the USB, uh, PC as a host always asks for a data. If the device doesn't have a data, it will send uh, not acknowledge. It, it indicates uh, to the PC that the host doesn't have a data. And vice versa, if the application as a device mouse have, has a data, it will send back this descriptor. So the function which we, which we will use in the in our application is only one, send report. That's all what you have to write in your application. The rest is created by the CubeMX. So is here any volunteer who wants to create this application? I will guide him. Together we can uh, create this application. Nobody wants to try? It's easy. Don't worry. You can win something. The board for volunteers, or two boards for volunteers. OK, I will try it. So now I'm going to open the CubeMX. Uh, this is first window which you will see when you open the CubeMX. Of course, it has a help. It allows you to open the old project if you have one already uh, created. Now I will start with the new project. The second window which you will see uh, is uh, configuration. Here you can select the device. We will use L0 device. In the second drop box uh, you can select the sub subfamily. So it's uh, 0x3 and the package. As you can see uh, here in the MCU list, we selected uh, or we filtered the devices. In our example, I will use this uh, L053HT. OK, now we have selected the device. Uh, what next we have to do? So we have selected device, and now we want to configure the peripheral. So I'm going to select uh, the USB peripheral. Here in this uh, tab, the first tab is the pinout which we will use. And I want to use the USB. So I will select the USB. Immediately in this uh, pinout view, in this package, you see which pin are assigned to the USB. For the USB, there are two pins, uh, data plus and data minus. Between the middleware, I will select uh, which uh, stack I want to use. It's USB. And as you can see, we have a several solution for the USB. The one which we are going to use is a human interface device. Uh, it's the class for uh, the USB mouse. If you want to implement USB mouse, it's this one. Uh, because I want to download this application, I have to select the serial wire debugger. It's the interface uh, for debugging and downloading application uh, to the hardware. That's it, and now I see where is it. In the second tab is, uh, is a clock tree. So here you can uh, select the clock configuration. In this example, we will use the two clocks. 
the first one will be 60 megahertz, megahertz internal, internal, internal RC. This clock will be multiplied in the PLL. So I'm going to choose the multiplication by four and I will get for this 32 megahertz for the core. It's the maximum for this device. And for the USB, I, I need a 48 megahertz. It's given by the USB standard. So that's all what I need to do if I want to configure the microcontroller for the USB mouse. Shall I do something else? Any idea? So what do you expect? Uh, what will happen if I have this configuration? So that's all what I need to do if I want to create the USB mouse. Maybe one last point is the project configuration settings. I have to create the uh, name of the project. So let's call it USB mouse. Uh, this tool allows you to, uh, to choose between three uh, working environment. Uh, here we have IAR. Kyle and uh, True Studio. I use the True Studio. So for, for this example, uh, toolchain selected is a True Studio. Okay, this pro the game already exists, so I will click mouse A. And the last action in the QPMX is the generate project. Now the QPMX generate the code, initialization code, and uh, immediately it will open your uh, working environment. So in a few seconds, you will have a complete project with uh, C routines. Okay, now I'm asked to open the project. And this is my project. Mo I created the most A. So it's the empty project with all routines. In the main, I have all functions uh, necessary for the USB mouse. Hardware abstraction layer is initialized. The clock system is ready. This function sets set the requirement or uh, configuration for the clock. GPIOs are initialized. USB stack is initialized. Only action which I have to do now to find the function which will send the data uh, as a mouse. Do you remember which function is it? Pardon? Right, exactly. Correct answer and the winner prize is board. <laughs> USBD. How was the name of the function? Yeah, HID. HID. It's the name of the class. And uh, what else? Which data we want to send? Do you remember the report descriptor structure? How many, how many bytes it was? Eight. We want to send the one, one byte uh, with the button four. And uh, two bytes about the position of the mouse. And one, one byte about the wheel. OK? The first, you said, you said it first, four <laughs> bytes. So I'm, so I'm going to create the structure which will have the eight bytes. I, I, didn't, I didn't say that. The QPMX uh, in the main create the user section. These sections are a section where you can write your code. So I have to create the structure of four bytes.
in, in the user section too, I will use this uh, structure and I fill it. So here, uh, in the first position, I don't want to send information about the buttons pressed. So uh, the first byte will be zero. The second byte is exposition. So I want to little bit move with the mouse. So let's put here 10 value. The third uh, byte is uh, Y position. I don't want to move in the Y axis. And the last byte is the wheel. Again, I don't want to turn with the wheel. So that's all what I need to do. I, I, I will get some errors because uh, the send report function Where is the mistake? Semi colon. I don't see it, sorry. You need here a semicolon instead of a colon and um, here too. You see, that's a semicolon, you have a colon here. Ah, okay, thanks. Thank thanks for your help. <laughs> There is a semicolon, it's okay. Are you sure? There's no parameters. In the function, there are no parameters. Now it's better. So I want to see which parameter are required by this function. The fir first function is handler. Uh, it's the, the device handler. It's already defi defined, specified in this uh, USB underscore device. And I have to publish this in the main. So it's this variable. So I have to extend. So now this uh, handler for the USB device is visible in the main and I will use it as a parameter in the function send report. The second parameter is the buffer which I want to send. And the last parameter is the number of the bytes which I want to send. I want to send complete buffer so I, I put there four bytes. So this function is not known in the main, therefore I have to include another module. It's a USB, I guess, of the E. USB HID, this function is in, the, in this module. And now it should be all what I need. Okay, it, this function requires the pointer. And that's it, now it will work. I don't want to move too fast, so I will use the function how, how delay, how delay.
So each 100 millisecond, the mouse will send the information about the change of the position. So I'm going to program this device, and after this you will see how this uh, board moves with the, with the cursor on my PC. Oops. This board has uh, embedded uh, debugging uh, ST-Link, so I will use this one. So it, uh, all I, what I need is uh, just a connection of the USB cable for uh, programming. Now this board is programmed uh, with the mouse application. So, and if I will use the second USB interface, uh, you will see uh, the moving of the cursor over my screen. Now you see I'm not moving uh, my PC and the cursor is moving. Okay, now you have a USB mouse. So was it easy? So now we have a solution. If you want to implement your USB application, it took approximately 10 minutes. So what do you think about this solution? Is it, is it okay? Is it fancy? So now all of you, you are USB experts. You can go home and say, hey, I'm a USB expert. I know how to create the application in 10 minutes. If you want to homemade mouse, here it is. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.